Okay, so let's get started. Uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is download uh, OpenSCAD, and you can uh, get that from OpenSCAD.org. And one of the things you're going to want to notice is that um, OpenSCAD is supported as an open source project, and you can click on that button right there and help support uh, its development. Uh, so give that a look before, while you're downloading, while, while you're waiting for your download to finish. Uh, so let's go down here. And you're going to want to look for the uh, releases that will fit your operating system. Uh, right now, my best option is the uh, Windows 32 installer. And I've already downloaded that. Okay. And when that installs, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break from actually looking at the, the program code and uh, focus on how I started the measurements. And uh, that is as simple as it seems. Basically, that's just my hand traced on a piece of paper. And then what I did is everywhere I wanted a joint, uh, at, say, these knuckles, I placed a dot, and then I took my handy dandy digital calipers, turned those on, make sure that they were zeroed out, and I'm measuring all of these in millimeters. And so the sort of things that I did, I actually would uh, take a measurement of the width, the length of the hand, um, say for example the the distance between two knuckles uh, for example that turned out to be about a little over 26 and a third and so then I would write 26 and then I've got all of these different lengths measuring to uh, the tips of the fingers uh, same thing for the thumb. There's 34 and a half millimeters, 32 and a half. Basically, uh, this was a lot easier than trying to say uh, measure my uh, my hands. And of course, it's all nearly impossible to to measure and shoot the video at the same time. As you can see, you can just imagine. Yeah. So trace out what you want, then measure it, document everything that you need, and it's going to go a lot smoother when we get over here and start writing the, the program code. Uh, so after that downloads, just install it. And let's see where we are. Open SCAD should be here. Sure enough, there it is. First time you run it, it's going to check your graphics cards. Make sure it knows exactly what to do. Okay, so there is OpenSCAD. And we're going to uh, revisit that in just a little bit with some actual program code to uh, generate a couple of simple shapes.